so students this is another question where we are going to talk about how to calculate molecular formula from a given data so here an organic molecule was found to contain 39.5 percent carbon 6.4 percent hydrogen and the rest is oxygen so we are given with three elements carbon hydrogen and oxygen out of that carbon and hydrogen percentage is given oxygen is not given we need to find that out first then equivalent mass of the acid is 60 find out its molecular formula so first let's find out what is the percentage of oxygen then we will go ahead use the table and calculate empirical formula then we'll use the given mass here to calculate what is the molecular formula so first let's calculate that so first here to find out the percentage of oxygen you do 100 minus you add up both the values of the carbon and hydrogen 39.5 plus 6.4 when we calculate this you will get 54.1 percent now that is going to be the percentage of oxygen so let's fill the table now we have three elements carbon hydrogen and oxygen so carbon hydrogen oxygen percentage of carbon is 39.5 percentage of hydrogen 6.4 and percentage of oxygen is 54.1 the atomic mass of carbon is 12 hydrogen 1 oxygen 16 now we need to calculate the remaining part of it which is the number of moles in the third column so here we will have to write given mass by atomic mass it is nothing but this value divided by atomic mass so for carbon it is 39.5 divided by 12 when we calculate this you will get 3.29 then for hydrogen also same way 6.4 divided by 1 which will give 6.4 then the last one is 54.1 divided by 16 so that is equal to 3.38 so here in the fourth column we found out what is number of moles now in the next column we need to divide by the smallest number so from the fourth column which one is the smallest number that's what we have to find out 3.29 is the smallest number so each of this value in the next column will be divided by the smallest number so here we'll write 3.29 divided by 3.29 this is equal to 1 then you have 6.4 divided by 3.29 which is equal to 1 1.4 1.9 1.9 is the value then same way when we do for this 3.38 divided by 3.29 this will give 1.02 so we have all these numbers in terms of decimal we will round off the values to get the simple whole number ratio this will remain as 1 1.9 can be rounded as 2 1.02 will remain as 1 itself so for the empirical formula the ratio that we have empirical formula is equal to C1 H2O all right now to find out molecular formula we need to find out the molecular mass of this empirical formula so here let's find out that so for this the molecular formula of the empirical form molecular mass of empirical formula molecular mass of empirical formula is equal to 1 atom of carbon into 12 which is the atomic mass plus 1 at 1 is the atomic mass of hydrogen into 2 because 2 atoms plus 1 atom of oxygen into 16 when we calculate this the formula will the mass will be 30 grams and now in our question it's clearly given equivalent mass of the acid so from that we need to get what is the molecular mass 
so molecular mass is equal to equivalent mass into basicity now equivalent mass is given to us in the question 60 basicity of this compound is 1 so here the molecular mass is equal to 60 now further we need to calculate what is the n value so n is equal to the molecular mass divided by empirical mass so molecular mass is 60 formula molecular mass of the empirical formula is 30 when we calculate the n values equal to 2 now for this from here we need to calculate the molecular formula so molecular formula is equal to n into empirical formula n is equal to 2 we just found out empirical formula is CH2O when we multiply 2 inside it will be C2H4O2 so this way when we get the values first if, if percentage of an element is missing you find that out then you follow this entire table, get the simple whole ratio, find out what is the empirical formula. Then you get the n value by dividing the molecular mass that is given to us in the question divided by the molecular mass of the empirical formula. From the n value, multiply that with the empirical formula to get what your molecular formula is.